this one was a existing pond. Pretty bad pond done wrong. We ripped that sucker out. Oh wow, it's pretty big. That is one big koi. It's gotta be three feet. Wow, you really do have some big koi here. Fr what was that? Freckles, Freebie, and Tinkerbell. You've had these for 20 years, huh? I'm proud of this young man. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got these guys. Did you pay them? So what are you pulling out of the back seat there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> New Aquascape Bling Bling Log Clover. So you said, hey, we're gonna stop by and bring you a log cover when we check out your, this is a pond, right? This one was a existing pond that we ripped out. It was uh, a pretty bad pond done wrong. Yep. It was basically a chimney of bricks. We ripped that sucker out. Oh wow, it's pretty big. Always love. I don't care. This never gets old. Opening a door and seeing something for the first time. Beautiful. Ohio Falls up here. Nice waterfall. Long stream. Oh, that is one big koi. Woo! That's got to be three feet. Yeah. Wow. We to put a giant fish cave in there for it. Wow, so she had the fish in an old pond for like 15 years. Yeah, like a one foot deep creek pond. What a great, great setup for a pond. But what's so cool about this is the setting. Look at this. A, listen to that sound. And B, look at this living area right out here. You just want to sit here, pull up a chair, and that's your view. Come on. How's it get any better than that? It's called there. And that, I bet you that big guy can eat this whole thing. That is like shamu. So as frustrating as that is to, you know, see a pond done wrong, yep. what did you say that they said about after you built this pond for them? It was absolutely the best investment that they made of all of 2017. Obviously, <laughs> it's an aquascape ecosystem pond, but that's cool. So it's nice to help people with ponds done right, customer serve right, having a blast. Craig the Pond Guy and Greg the Pond Guy on living the aquascape lifestyles. Okay, buddy, what's this project? So this is a pond that we built to replace an existing pond for some 20 year old koi. Uh, 12 by 20 pond, Okay. two and a half, three feet deep. Okay. With a wetland filter and intake bay. Skip. Oh, nice, so the koi are quite happy. Yes. Oh, what a nice setting. Thank you. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Nice Donna. to meet How you. How you doing? He's the best. You gotta tell his wife that. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, you really do have some big koi here. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Fr what was that? Freckles, Freebie, and Tinkerbell. So you've had these for 20 years, huh? Mm, going on 23. 
Wow. How long have you been married? Almost 41. Okay, so not as long as a husband. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So, so this was a second pond for you then? We've redone our pond three times. We had it over there. Okay. And so Craig came over and did this for us. And why, why is he the best? You, you, this is your words, not mine, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first time he came out, he listened to everything we had to say. When he came back the second time, he remembered the minute little details. Maybe this is why he's still married. <laughs> He's a very good listener. We've had some uh, architect, landscape architects come out. That Do not curse in front of me. That have not done anything <laughs> that we've asked. They mm -hmm. come back with things that are not what we're wanting. Imagine that. To everything, and this whole thing turned out beyond expectations. I mean, it beyond it, it expectations. is gorgeous. You got a nice wetland up there, yep. bog filter, and it keeps the water clean. So, yep. how is the maintenance of this water feature versus the oh, other ones? My husband gets. He's almost here. I see he's someone just pulled in. Um, can talk to him because okay. it's been awesome. Awesome. You know with all these trees. How long have you lived here? Almost 23 years. When you moved in you built a pond. Yeah, exactly. We had a friend that was an employee group and she was like, oh that's a great place for a pond, so build it. So that's... we did. We dug it. We've redone it three times ourselves. And really? Last time we were like, we're calling an expert. <laughs> we don't want to do it. We're too old to do this anymore. <laughs> did you just call your husband old? Try hey it. buddy, how you doing? Good. Than what compared to the old pond? Oh, it's no maintenance. It's almost no maintenance. So, I have to pull a basket out and pull the leaves out. Of there you go. Pond. So, you're a, you're a contractor. How is working with a pond contractor, a certified guy? I wish that I, I wish that our crews and our project managers worked like Craig did. I mean, he was here on time. It was painless. It was. He Craig did everything he said he was going to do, and more. and more. I'm proud of this young man. <laughs> He's yeah. so cute. <laughs> oh man, you got these guys. Did you pay them? Here's what it comes from. It comes from passion. He has a pa that is so obvious. It, he cares. He's passionate. Every rock gets placed the way he's into it, and that's what yes. success comes from. Yes. Passion. So doesn't it look great from inside, especially at night? How about at night? It just glows, right? It's, it's awesome at night, and how the water reflects off the pan. You need the underwater lights. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful at night. Yeah. So this is a wetland filter right up here. As the water flows up, it goes through the gravel, all of the plant roots, and you can see the quality of the water, even with giant koi living in it. They're happy. So the, so the fence is new? Yes, yeah, we tore the fence that. down because he had to get his stuff in here. To okay. Yeah. So what, what happened? So this is funny. So your neighbors would come over. What did they say? They wanted to know, if you were, once we got the fence finished, they wanted to know if we were going to cut a hole in it so they could look in because they were really disappointed that it was going to be blocked up because it was so pretty. And then before the fence was finished, when Craig had just finished or was getting in the process of finishing, they would drive by at night and sit in the, sit in the alley and watch the koi pond. That is, neighbors would actually sit in an alley to listen, but I think you need to go over to the neighbors. <laughs> well, we call this living the aquascape lifestyle because it is a lifestyle. It changes the space. It does change the space. And the other thing about this is our other one over there, we're like, why did we ever do that? We couldn't see it from the inside. We can only see it from the outside. I have so enjoyed all winter being able to sit at my kitchen table, stand in the kitchen, or sit in the Show me. Show me inside. Would you mind? Oh, that is absolutely so gorgeous. I can open this up and I can hear everything. And that sound is priceless. It is priceless. So calming. Everyone needs one of these. 
That's what I say, living the aquascape lifestyle. Twenty-three years those koi have been around. There's not any dogs that live that long, virtually no cats, and 23 years is still relatively young for a koi. They'll live, outlive most of their owners. And uh, what's so cool about that is, here's these fish that they've had forever, and they now got the right pond. And that's as big as koi get. Those are three foot koi in there, and they're living just fine in healthy water with an aquascape ecosystem and a pond that's way lower maintenance. That's what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. Better homes for the fish, better ponds for the customers. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and travel along as we go see more 23 year old fish. Not many dogs. <sighs> Looks like you're really strong. Yeah. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> so what is the secret to 41 years of marriage? Do what you're told. That's right, sir. <laughs>